because uh with companies they want to have a brand image that's good but like maybe big brain idea all right manage your talents better <laughs> like in my opinion right the whole thing with v shoujo right i know people like, oh talent freedom and even with niji oh talent freedom right it's it's good as an idea but there has to be some restriction at a certain point i feel uh you know i i know a particular company i won't mention the name i think they do amazing with uh managing their talents now i haven't caught many of their streams for but they've kept clear of drama from what i know um you know for the time that they've existed like pfft, they're good so like why not like you would think that a company the size of niji would have the resources to be able to manage people better but then also my talent freedom so yeah uh the whole like you know iron mouse like vod for sure uh was within their rights right it, for sure they're, they're within the rights but again my big brain theory is that they um i'm gonna switch the camera over <laughs> you're just gonna talk, I'm, just, I'm not even talking about the, the, the threats right now um but i feel like if they took down a stream right it's like you see this either all of it's okay to post or none of it's okay to post in my opinion or, or keep up because it feels so weird when you see oh this thing makes us look bad as a company it makes iron mouse look bad as a person we got to remove it um so that's why i think oh okay well you can't just if you're gonna remove that then that means you have to remove all fan content or clips that's what i mean uh yeah so actually so to just be clear about the whole iron mouse strike thing right technically it wasn't the shoujo that did the strike but they did use a third party to flag the video and remove it um so they actually had to go through v show to approve that removal as well so that's why i think that in part um they definitely saw that okay this makes us list bad we gotta remove it um and i downloaded it. <laughs> i have a copy of it so like whoopsies um it definitely makes them look bad um and i mean like i said i know a little bit about the people behind v um and it's not a surprise to me that they would try to hide bad things that they've done um or mistakes to make the, you know to help their brand image look better um which is why i'm curious um why um Kason joined them like i know they had a building relationship during um melodies like you know early years uh and so that's how they became friends and that's why she signed on it's possibly too but like i don't know if how much Kason cares about their brand image and, and like it, i mean because i'm i and you guys might be in the minority in knowing what we know about the and you know the people involved with them um and so maybe it doesn't matter to her to, to Kason that she's joined them uh which again that's where i want to talk about like nazuna then right uh because i don't won't try to get too deep about past lives um but nazuna did do like some wrong things and that's why she's ended up with the shoujo in a sense not that because she did bad things that's why she's there but because she did bad things she changed careers and swapped over to uh v shoujo uh because i want to say most of v shoujo's talent even including their branch there uh not great people not great people there's maybe like one two maybe three i can't remember who else is part of like there's this definitely a minority of the shoujo that i'm not aware of any dirt on or has not done anything bad everyone else uh the, the majority I'm like man why do you want to associate with that like i don't know so eh whatever uh i could even okay i to be careful with this okay but I'm, this is using a joke that people talk about like maybe Kason is uh or, should I say this? Man. Okay, this is in jest, just to be clear. Maybe someone's uh, expiring and needs a backup plan. Because I know Kason 
she's known for cosplay. Uh, so let me just stop there before people cancel me. Like, oh, you you think w women bad? I'm like, no, I don't think women bad. I just think people are bad. <laughs> uh, so I'm not saying it's no. I'm not saying anything's wrong with Case on doing cosplay. What I mean is, uh, man, it's not about info. It's not important info. It's more like societal value. And yes, society is weird in that, you know, young, beautiful women get a lot of attention and every other age group of women don't as much, if I can say it that way. That's just a fact of how things are. And that's what I mean by Kason backup plan. You, you kind of get what I'm saying? You, you get what I'm saying? Like... It's like it's like when people say, "Oh, men age like wine, women age like milk." Um, yeah, uh, the difference between Vichou and normal female Twitch streamers uh, gets blurry, blurry every day. Yeah, no, I, I actually no. Uh, it's not even blurry to me. It's not blurry. Okay, it is the same. If it's a Venn diagram, they're they're a circle. They're just one circle. I feel like V Shoujo and regular Twitch streamers, female Twitch streamers, are just one circle because no one I know about Melody and what she's done in the past. Uh, she has the qualities of just a, a, a Twitch streamer, a female Twitch streamer. Uh, with, uh, what's her name? The Fox Lady. I can't remember her name. Uh, let's look up V Shoujo. Ah, Silver Veil. Um, Silver Veil. From what I understand, was a Twitch streamer that then pivoted towards VTubing. So that's what I mean by like circle. <laughs> Iron Mouse. Uh, hmm. Uh, she's always been on Twitch. She's she knows she she I know she said that she knows Twitch culture. So there again, right? Uh, Yanners. That's a whole can of worms about her. I mean, there's no past life to talk about. It's just all nanners, uh, where she's done things that she regretted. She's um, lolly bait, and yet she's like, oh, no lollies. Don't talk about lollies. Like, I get the whole thing about, you know, Discord's TOS. Um, but, like, I admit, I've been in servers where lolly content's there, and it's fine because everyone agrees it's fine. Like, it's not real people. It's fine. Um, I'm of the opinion that it's fictional. Totally don't care. Yanners. Then Tree, I, I have nothing on, really. Uh, the only, like, you know, argument I have about Zentria is probably a dude using a voice synthesizer, which is okay. When Haruka joined, the Shoujo people were pissed only because they had audition with other VTubers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nepotism, for sure. Yeah, yeah, the nepotism is there. I, I remember... Haruka um, she definitely built the relationship with other members first, and then she got on. Um, again, I, she's definitely one I don't have dirt on, so let's see. Actually, let me count. Let's see. Or, you know, suppose a dirt on. Uh, one. Two. Oh. <laughs> two out of 12. Pretty bad rate. Uh, that I don't have any dirt on or don't think I have a negative opinion on. That being, I don't have a negative opinion on Hime and Haruka. Um, and I do understand that, yeah, it feels like it's it was very more nepotism that got her in. Everyone else auditioned. I don't know what happened. I don't know how the audition worked with uh, Vishojo, but people definitely were able to keep their um, identities, it looks like. Wow, this is <laughs> this just became me talking shit about v of, of Vishojo now. Pudgy Melody... Uh, there was problems with her and, uh, her original modeler, um, his name slips my mind right now. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll through and find the name again. Digi. There we go. Digi Trev. Um, yeah, there was that. I, yeah, um, the guy who made Project Melody's model originally, the, the 3D model. Yeah, there was that falling out. I did a video on it. Uh, but it seems like both are at fault on that. I, so... I know you say, oh, that guy, right? I've been able to speak to him. Decent dude, okay? Um, both are at fault, but I just feel like 
Melody as a person is just problematic, and that's what caused the, their their issues in the first place. Um, again, opinion. Um, because uh, I, you know, to shill myself a bit, I did make a video uh, talking, like showing, talking with DMs, talking with Digi about the situation that happened uh, a while back with him giving a copyright strike and whatever on Twitch. But yeah, at the end of the day, both are at fault. He acknowledges it. But it seems like Melody really wanted to just pin it on him. So that's why I feel like she's the worst person for that. But, you know, talent freedom. Uh, I talked about this last night as well, where um, there, there's a, there has to be a disconnect between with the Nux. Oh, yeah, Nux. Definitely Nux thing. I also made a video about that. Um, and I feel like these Shoujo in general is at fault. Uh, Nux thing. Definitely big many of them uh on the english side bad for what they how they reacted with the nux thing for sure yeah separation of like entertainer and irl because i don't remember there's some event that happened and like melly went out of her way to address that and i'm like what uh, why? <laughs> uh, it was, a, it was a political thing. I'm like, no, you don't do this. I, I'm here for entertainment. Why'd you do that? Because uh, it reminds me of a similar situation. This is over a year ago. Two years ago now at this point. I was watching this VTuber. I enjoyed what she was doing. And then uh, January 6th happened. No matter what your opinion on this, it happened. And then she stated her opinion. I'm like, wait, what? Why? I followed you because you're a haha funny anime woman playing video games. And now you pull IRL shit into here. I, I I want you to escape it. Now you tweeted about it. Why? Like people seem to think that when they become a VTuber, they can bump they use it as a soapbox for their own personal stuff. I feel like if you want to have that personal stuff, have a second account. Hajime Hime, nothing to say about her. Uh, bad. Um, I, I guess it's an open secret at this point that she uh, is wife of. Uh, What's her name again? Fuck. Well, yeah, she's good. She's fine. Uh, Vebe, I have nothing on. I don't remember any. Yeah. yeah. And Haruka, nothing. So, fruit. Uh, we have a tiny, tiny bit of history in that, like, uh, I was uh, actually in, like, this one server with her and a bunch of other artists. Like, I wasn't here there just for her, but, like, it was cool. It was fun. Um, and there's... You know, little interaction happened. There was issues. It was, you know, just fun little artist and audience interaction before she debuted as a VTuber. And, um, you know, it's, we had just you know, fun interactions. And then uh, I even, like, used one of her images for a um, a, a thumbnail at one point. You know, it was a, of a UMP9 image. Love it. Still. Uh, I still, I even have merchandise from um, Fruit before she debuted as a VTuber. Uh, you see this? Yeah. Uh, that's a Yeet Cannon 9. YC9, it's still really cool. Uh, it's still cool to have that. Um, so, some things that people talked about, and I, I don't know much about it, but uh, apparently they had uh, Fruit and some other person had a store together that sold like anime merch and uh, a lot of stuff like that, uh, that kind of targeted weebs and people who love firearms and all sort of thing, because that's kind of how Fruit got her, her start, is a lot of that stuff. Um, as well as just regular art, right? She, she made you know geek canon she made the whole uh personified planet series of of characters uh with earth chan right um so the whole thing about fruit i i only knew it as a rumor for a while until it resurfaced uh in the past couple months where uh she put out a tweet saying man uh she got betrayed by someone okay i don't remember what the situation was like, oh, yeah, I can't believe you know you don't really know someone until they do something bad to you. That's kind of the summary of that. And <laughs> ah, Twitter was on her, okay? I really, I was tempted to make a video on it or reply to it, but then it had, a lot of people got blocked and such like that. And it, I feel like it was a uh, a moment of, like, lack of self-awareness of that, why that tweet happened. But basically then people were like, wait, aren't you the one that, like, cheated on your partner while they were overseas? Uh, this was years ago already, okay? This was years, years, years ago, before even she was Fruit Chan. Um, and uh, then they 
people were like, hey, wait, didn't you cheat on your husband? And then there was a the husband. They say husband. I don't really know the relationship. Okay, I won't try, try to speculate on that. Um, and then there was memes about it, tons of memes, including one where like it was fruit in a room, and then there was a guy with like a heartbeat scanner uh, from Call of Duty, uh, and there was someone in the room. <laughs> Oh, um, and apparently there was like a multiple pe partner, like people that were involved with that, um, and yeah, I don't know how else to say. Like it's it's, it's uh kind of complicated in that in that sense. So the store thing, I fortune makes fun of her for like not delivering on things, uh, and then the, the whole cheating thing, mm, bad. Um, again, I can't confirm anything, but then. Uh, the dude actually was contacted again about like, it's like, man, I forgot about the whole story. Uh, and then like this came out, yeah, I'm good with it. Like, but it's, apparently it's true. Like, you know, got cheated on. That's sad. Uh, and, uh, it's just I ironic, I guess, when people are like, oh, wow. Like she said this, but then this, she did this in the past. Like, you know, you should be more aware of yourself. That's basically that. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my general opinion about certain and info I know about, uh, the shoujo members really. But yeah, the whole the whole uh, Nux thing was mm, delicious. Uh, it really you know showed a lot of people uh, the kind of people they have in there, which is kind of sad. Uh, I mean, not only did it show the mem like you know their talents right and how how they are, but it definitely showed some weakness in uh, the gun run, the CEO, uh, because they made a statement like an official statement on like this blog. And then like edited the vlog the blog later. It's like dude, you didn't proofread it. Uh, so they left in some things that made them look bad for sure, and edited it to make sure that they looked better. Um, so and even like the, the other thing that is weird to say too. Like I know it's loaded when I say this, but like knowing that he was involved in Twitch, the gun run in the past, also was like hmm flag, um, because he would have known about the. Uh, way that the system weighs people and, and all that sort of thing. Because I remember even a couple months ago, they, there was like info released about like earnings of uh, YouTubers and not YouTube, uh, Twitch streamers, and all that. Yeah, it's all complicated. I don't remember exactly what, but it was just kind of funny. But yeah, um, overall, uh, V Show Joe, for the most part, sus, in my opinion. Sus. Damn, <laughs> we derailed. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed, I enjoyed talking about it. I enjoy talking to be honest so uh yeah thanks for actually bringing that topic in though like it's, it's actually kind of interesting 